Hey everyone, and welcome back to Writing Tip of the Week. My name is Julie Stigmeyer, and I work with the GSEP in Writing Support. Today I'd like to talk to you about the objective tone needed for scientific writing. So when we talk about tone, what are we talking about? Well, it refers to the specific term is the register, but an easier way to understand that might be the style of the writing. Um, scientific writing differs in form and content um, from creative or literary writing, but it doesn't need to be uh, dull or stuffy. So I want to talk about some things that um, can influence it. We could think of tone in at least two ways, as formal or informal. There are other ways we could also think about it, but let's just talk about these. A formal tone would include abstract, objective language, complete sentences, no contractions, a serious or professional tone, and a logical or focused piece of writing. The informal tone would be more personal or subjective, use casual syntax, which may mean you don't have complete sentences. You would allow contractions like I'm or there. And slang or colloquial language is allowed. And it can be digressive or unfocused. So you can guess that uh, academic or scientific writing should be formal. And this is according to the seventh edition um, of the APA manual. When describing your research, present the ideas and findings in a direct, straightforward manner, while also aiming for an interesting and compelling style. So here are some ways to do that. First of all, elaborate on an idea or concept. Of course, you all have page restrictions and length requirements for assignments, but don't be afraid to fully tease out the idea of your topic. You can also vary sentence lengths. So include some longer sentences within a paragraph that have a lot of detail, and then include maybe one or two punchy or short sentences that will give it more emphasis. Avoid contractions unless they are part of direct quotes. That's okay according to the APA. And avoid colloquialisms like I'm not going to write up a case study but report it. So try to use the more formal professional tone. And here are some other ideas you can consider. A common term might be deals with, which could become addresses. About is approximately big instead of that, say large or considerable, etc. So you can see these are good examples for how you can make your tone um, more formal and more professional. That's all for this week's writing tip. As you are working on your writing, be sure you know that you can reach out for writing support. And until next time, happy writing.